Hey guys, it's that random dude, and today I'll be showing you how to install and set up the Open Beats of Rage. So, basically, what this is is um, essentially um, a beat em up game, kind of like Streets of Rage, but it's basically like custom games. And I'll show you guys how to um, set it all up. So, what you'll need is a PS Vita with custom firmware. Um, I think you can run this on whatever firmware you have. Like it's like 3.65, um, 3.6D, 3.73 firmware, anything like that. So um, what you want to do, of course, is download the um, VPK. Uh, link in the description below. Um, so here it is. I already have it installed. Open ball. And you also need um, your uh, Beats of Rage game, which will be in a pack file. I'll also have a link, a link in the description for that for all the games you can play. There's obviously more of the internet, but that's just an example. So, um, after you've installed that, it should. You might want to open up the app just so you can set everything up, but it should be in this open bore folder. And from here, this after you've installed it, by the way, you'll see your packs folder right here. And this is where you'll put your game. Now you can only have one game available at one time. So for example, if you have like two or like multiple multiple games, you have to put them in like a separate folder. You can make like another folder here just so you can like have them at you know a safe place. So if you want to swap out your games. So here I have um, a rare game here, Beats of Rage. Games are pretty small in size as well, so it's not real worry about memory card usage, but um, yeah, so after you've done all that, after you've got your game, after you've installed it, you just want to um, obviously go to your thing here. Here it is, Open Beats of Rage. You want to just click Start. So it will instantly um, take you to your game. You will have a nice splash screen there. And yeah, and these are just custom games, not official or anything like that. And yeah. So this one is called just Beats of Rage, of course. Um, yep, there's King of Fighters characters. You guys should check out King of Fighters, pretty fun game. Uh, you can click new game or load game. If you click load game, you can like pick up from where you left off. I did stage two. But yeah, so I'm gonna click new game. It's got uh, three characters here. Um, obviously you can pick whatever game you want. You guys don't need to play this game. You guys can play whatever Beats of Rage game you want really on here. Then you've got Mandy, Max and Kula. Oh, yeah. Um, so obviously this ain't official, but yeah, I'll just show some gameplay here. Um, now this is like, if you guys know Mew, now this is also available on the PSP. I did a tutorial on Mugen. Um, it's not Mugen. That is very annoying. I'm gonna turn down the volume on that. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, it's just some quick gameplay. So there's also like all types of um, games you can play. I've played like a Resident Evil one before. Um, it's also available on the PSP. I assume this is pretty much the exact same as the PSP version. Um, but yeah, uh, you got your hard to play right here. Um, and yeah, so. Um, that's pretty much how you use the install and set up the Beats of Rage. So, of course, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video, check out my other videos. If I did a tutorial on Mugen, you guys should totally check it out. It's not, the game's not, the port isn't great, but whatever. Um, and I will see you guys later. So, uh, see you later.